All right, so we're headed out this morning to go try to get Courtney her antelope. So we'll see how it goes. It's going to go good. We'll see. It is. Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather free. Believe I'd rather free. And how long can we walk that line between the sea and sand? How long can we bide our time for dreams we never play? For dreams we never play. When the sky said the winter time was coming on And you cried to see a shadow wave was growing long Cross long Another song Tuesday night, it's 3 a.m. I ought to be asleep. If only I could tell you all about the dreams I keep. Or about the dreams I keep. I wake up every all right, so it's September 20th, and we are headed out this morning to try to get Courtney her envelope. Uh, the season's been open for a couple days already, but this is the first time I've got a chance to get off the fire long enough to go hunting, and we'll try to get Courtney's tag filled. So, we're hunting up actually in an area that I grew up hunting, so it's kind of really cool that Courtney was able to draw a tag here and be back hunting some wild stomping grounds. So, should be a good day. We'll see how it goes. Cross the line, another song. Like, hey, yeah, because hiking and really do it without losing too much pressure. Three hundred and sixteen yards there. Well, at least we've seen a few this morning. We've hiking. seen quite a few animals this morning. Yeah. Oh, we'll keep looking. That buck, he's just got real small. He's young. Cutters on him. So, we'll keep looking. It's still pretty early in the morning. It's like 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> Do 
built this thing from the ground up out of nothing. No flight plan, no manual to be found. You and I, we're driving in the dark without headlights, trying to find our way. Yeah, he's actually pretty small. He's got better cutters than the last one, but he's pretty, like, he's not very tall. I'd say he's probably like about 13, maybe 14 inches, but I bet he's closer to 13. I'll be there with you. I'll be here with you. Built a wall around my heart to stop the bleeding. More to make of all the words that I should have said to you We walk into the fire and the smoke clouds Trying to find our way It's hard telling where we'll be the coming days But I'll be there with you It's hard telling That's something to find every day. Lots of bullets. I like that off the road here, so. <laughs> yep. Just enough to have loaded the rifle up. Oh. Well, three bullets. Telling where we'll be in the coming days I'll be there with you Start telling where we'll be in the coming days I'll be there with you Start telling where we'll be in the coming days It is day two. We are headed up to try to get Courtney an antelope again. We hunted all day yesterday. We had a lot of opportunities, but... Decided to pass on a lot of antelope. Yeah, and then hindsight being what it is, there was a few that we were like, we should have just shot that one. Yeah. But, you know, it just stretches the hunt out and makes it more fun. So, we'll see how it goes today. We only got till about noon to hunt, and then I got to go back to work. So if we don't get it done this time, that's all right, because we still got like two weeks left in the season. So we try to get out and get our antelope before uh, the season ends.
nailed him. Fucking nailed him. What a shot. <laughs> I'm so oh happy with that. What a shot. What a shot. Oh my god. 320 yards. Uh, oh, that was a good one. Fucking, fucking dropped him. Alright, so we came out here to hunt this area because this is where Saul grew up. It's a little bit nostalgic, kind of like coming home. But it's really, it's not uh, known for its trophy antelope. Um, people come out here mostly just to fill their freezers. Uh, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this antelope still though. It's a little bit less about the horn size for us this time and just more like feeling like we got a good quality hunt in and I feel like we really got that. Oh, I see what that is. Look at him. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right where you want it. He is pretty beautiful. He is pretty beautiful. We got a really good stock in on this one. I'm super happy with it. We easily could have spooked these antelope out of this field. They definitely saw us in here and we managed it to we managed to pull it off. So, um, super happy with the stock, super happy with the hunt, and I'm actually really happy with this. And now we get to fill our freezer with some antelope. So, pretty happy about that too. This was such a special hunt for us because we're actually 11 weeks pregnant as of yesterday. And um, so, this was our baby's first hunt with us. And we're looking forward to 2021 when we actually get to have baby Griffith out in the field.